Tonight in Special Education Matters Report, the average cost of college can top $20,000 a year. That can leave some parents with a tough choice, saving for their retirement or helping their children pay for college, of course. But there are ways that families can do both at the same time. And WSLS 10's Jenna Zipton talks to a financial planner about some little-known secrets for paying for college. Paulette Rechtenwald will be making one less lunch soon when her oldest son goes off to college. I want them all to have the opportunity to go to college, but not to incur a large amount of debt uh, on, upon graduation. But putting three kids through college while saving for retirement is a challenge. It's something many families are struggling with. Some of those goals are conflicting, and some of the strategies that you would use for retirement planning are different than for college planning. And just it's been a, an eye opener and a real education. It really comes down to trying to marry. The, the academics, the finances, and the social aspects of going to college so that you make the best fit and have the, have the most successful opportunity. She's been working with Frankie Butler, the regional director for the college funding coach. If you've ever told your kid that you can go to any school you want to, as long as it's a Virginia State College, uh, rethink that. It may come down to sticker price in the end, but, but don't take them out of consideration just because you think you can't afford them because you very well may. He says start as early as possible saving for college without putting your retirement in jeopardy. Earlier is better, um, but also understand what the rules are around the game. Educate yourself about the types of plans out there. And Butler says a 529 plan isn't the only option. There are tax advantages to them, and they're, they're great products, but um, it can actually reduce the amount of financial aid that you may be eligible for. Whereas something like, for example, a Roth IRA, uh, which has similar tax features to it and can be used to pay for college, um, does not count in the formula against you. Understand what the college award letter means and how much money the school is awarding your student. Take a close look at how you're using the money you've saved and don't knock yourself out of possible tax credits. It's a doable. Okay, it takes some planning, it takes some focus, it takes educating yourself. Rechtenwald hopes she's an expert by the time her 12 year old goes off to college. All right, bye, have a great day. Thanks, bye. Mom. Meanwhile, her advice to other parents the day your child's born, start saving. <laughs> Open an account for them that day as soon as you know their name so, so that you can start early. There are $10 classes offered through Roanoke County, and in some areas of Virginia, hundreds of parents have taken these savings classes. We posted more information on how you can sign up at WSLS.com. Jenna Zibden, WSLS 10.